Geological facts about the convection current in the Earth's mantle. The key principles of plate tectonic is that the lithosphere exists a separate and distinct tectonic plate, which ride on the fluid like asthenosphere. Tectonic lithosphere plates consist of oceanic crust and continental crust. Ang oceanic crust ay ang mga lupa sa ilalim ng tubig. Binubuo ng silicon at magnesium. Ang mga continental crust ay sa ibabaw ng lupa na binubuo din ng silicon at aluminum. Ang lokasyon kung saan nagtatagpo ang dalawang plateau ay tinatawag na plate boundary. Ang boundaries na ito ay nauugnay sa geological events such as earthquake at saka yung mga creation ng topographic features such as mountains, volcanoes, mid-oceanic ridges, and oceanic trench. According to one theory, convection currents in Earth's mantle drag along the tectonic plates. Here, the current moves two plates apart, as seen in the figure. Sometimes, when two tectonic plates move towards each other, one plate is forced downward. The edge of the other plate is subheaded up in the form of mountains and that is called subduction. Ayan, alam nyo na kung paano nabubuo ang mga bundok. Yan ay patikim lamang sa lesson nyo sa susunod nyong baitang. Punta na tayo sa ating main topic which is fault. What is fault? What are the different types of faults? Here are some pictures na nagpapakita ng fault. Ayan, ikukompare natin mamaya dun sa gagawin nating activity. Ayan, sa ibang bansa naman yan na kung saan nagpapakita rin yung iba-ibang klase ng fault. Ano ba talaga ang kaugnayan ng fault sa earthquake? Faults causes earthquake. Faults are cracks in the ground. Gawa tayo ng activity. Tara! The title of our activity is a faulty setup. And the objectives are, after performing the activity, you should be able to, number one, describe the appearance of a fault, and number two, explain how a fault forms. Ang kinakailangan nating materials para sa activity ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Dalawang pirasong folder, ruler, buhangin, at newspaper. Let's proceed to the procedure. Number one, kumamit ng newspaper para hindi magkalat ang buhangin. Ayusin ang dalawang gilid ng cardboard katulad nito. Ibuhos ang buhangin sa gitna ng dalawang cardboard. Number 4. Pantayin ang buhangin at lagyan ng dalawang guhit sa ibabaw nito. Gamit ang ruler. Hilahin ang magkabilang dulo ng cardboard sa magkabilang dire direction. Tulad nito. Side questions. Question 1. As you move the sheets, what is formed in the sand? A crack is formed on the sand. Question number two. What happens to the lines? We can see that the lines move. It shifted or displaced. Compare the pictures above and the result of our experiment. Meron ba silang pagkakahawig? Ipaliwanag ito sa inyong notebook. We can now define fault. What is a fault? A fault is a break in the earth's crust. Surface along with rocks have fractured and been moved. Fault is a break in the rocks that make up the earth's crust, along which rock, along which rock on the either side have moved past its other. 
What causes fault? As mentioned before, faults are caused by plate tectonic force due to convection current. There are three general tectonic forces. Number one, tensional force. Two, compressional force. Three, shearing force. Let us explain the three tectonic forces. Number one is tension force. A system of force which pulls or stretches rock from opposite side. Forces explained on the direction of the arrow. Pangalawa sa tectonic forces ay ang shearing. A system of force which acts on rocks in opposite direction parallel that causes rock to slide past each other. The last tectonic forces that we will discuss is compression. A system of forces which pushes a squeeze rock from opposite side. This is one evidence of a compression. Hanging wall versus foot wall. A fault divides rock into two fault blocks. For any inclined fault, the block above the fault is the hanging wall. Block and the block below the fault is the foot wall block. Tandaan mga bata, ang hanging wall ay nasa taas ng block at ang foot wall ay nasa baba. Before we continue to our topic, please try to answer the, quest the four questions above. Normal fault is a type of fault where the hanging wall moves down relative to the foot wall produced by tensional tectonic forces. Ayan, pagmasdan yung mabuti. Ang hanging wall moves downward at ang nasa itaas ay ang foot wall. Sanhi ito ng tensional force. Ang sunod naman ay ang reverse fault. A type of fault wherein the hanging wall moves up relative to the foot wall produced by tensional tectonic forces. Kabaligtaran siya mga bata ng normal fault na kung saan ang hanging wall ay siya naman ang nasa itaas. Pareho silang sanhi ng Tensional tectonic forces. Next is the strike slip fault. A type of fault wherein fault blocks move laterally relative to one another, produced by shearing tectonic forces. The right lateral and the left lateral. Here are some examples of strike slip fault. Mas dan yung mabuti ang reles ng train mga bata. Tama, hindi na tuwid ang reles ng train. Pag-aralan naman natin ngayon ang types of fault according to activity. May tinatawag tayo active fault, blind fault, at inactive fault. Isa-isahin natin, unahin natin ang active fault. Faults which are expected to undergo rock movement and thus be displaced for about 11,000 years to produce earthquake. Let us name the five active faults in the Philippines. We have Western Philippine Fault, Eastern Philippine Fault, South of Mindanao Fault, Central Philippine Fault and Marikina Valley Fault System. Next is the inactive fault. Faults which are expected to undergo rock movement and thus be displaced for about 11,000 years and do not produce earthquake. The last type of fault according to activity is the blind fault. A fault that could be active or inactive fault can be converted into an active fault or unknown fault that can produce earthquake some notable faults in the philippines okay. 
Philippine Fault Zone, a 1,200 kilometer long fault that it stretches from Luzon to Mindanao. The Philippine Fault Zone, the largest system fault in the Philippines. This picture shows some of the devastating earthquake in the Philippines. The Ragay Gulf quake with, which has a 7.0 magnitude. The Cordillera and the Baguio which has a 7.7 .7 magnitude. The Masbate quake which has 6.2 magnitude. The major fault system is on NCR which we will be discussed on the next activity. Time for a seat work. When earthquake occurs, one of the rock on the other side of the fault slip with respect to others. You are correct. When earthquake occurs, energy, energy radiates in all direction from its source and we call that as focus. You're right. Number three, compression rock movement causes reverse fault. You're right again. 4. The most frequent cause by major earthquake is submarine current. Wrong, it is faulting. 5. Distance time graph is an instrument to record earthquake obtained in seismograph. correct answer is seismograph. The quantity of an energy released by an earthquake is referred to as magnitude. You are correct. Major earthquakes are often followed by somewhat smaller event known as Tremor. That is wrong. It is after shock. Eight tsunamis are often generated by movement of the ocean floor. You're right. 9. Philippine Fault has 1,200 km long from Luzon to Mindanao. You're right again. Number 10. Year 1990 when Luzon quake destroy many establishment in Calderieras and Baguio City. That is magnitude 10. Wrong. The right answer is 7.7 7 magnitude. That's all for today, mga bata. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, at share mo na rin ang video nito. Salamat!